Good afternoon, Honorable Minister, uh, Honorable State Minister, the Executive Director, and the other dignitaries here. Uh, so we've come to a closing session, which has been a marathon session for the Export Development Board. Uh, I must say that we have had, uh, it has been very positive uh, results, and we are very happy that ITC gave us this opportunity to work along with the ITC to hold the 16th WEDEF uh, in Sri Lanka. At the time we took it on, uh, we weren't sure what we were actually in for. But now when you speak to the participants, you speak to the exhibitors, and you speak to those who came for the B2B meetings, we have had very positive results. And as a result of WEDEF, the private sector and the EDB has started working extremely close. We are partners and we don't consider them as, uh, as a private sector and we don't consider us a public sector. So all in all, it has had uh, very good results. And may I thank the ITC once again for giving us the confidence. And I will tell Hungary, uh, we will help you with our observations and uh, the learnings that we had so that you can make uh, a better WEDEF. We were trying to make this WEDEF the best uh, since they have had, uh, held, and I, I'm confident that we have done a good job. And I thank my team, both in the private sector, the Export Development Board, the BOI, the Foreign Ministry, all the ministries who were working with us for having made this WEDEF a success, and for all delegates, both international and local, for having confidence in this forum and having come to Sri Lanka and all our Sri Lankan participants, because in addition to the forum per se, uh, we took on for ourselves of having the best uh, 50 companies exhibiting their products. Uh, on zero day, we had the B2B meetings, which we have had more than 3,500 contacts. And then we also had the she trade. So this is all in addition to the forum. So I would tell Hungary, make use of that experience. Don't let it be just a forum, but get the, the best of the forum. And I know a number of people are visiting factories uh, following the forum. And we have had several uh, international delegates who, are, who have come here for the very first time. So thank you once again. The theme on the backdrop does say trade for success. So given Ms. Malvata's concluding remarks today, it really is a forum that is trading for success, building new chapters and mooting new public-private partnerships. Thank you very much, Ms. Malvata. I'd like to invite now General Manager of America Export Morocco, Ms. Zahra Mafiri. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Excellency Mr. Malik Samar Wikrame, Minister of International Trade of Sri Lanka. Excellency Mr. Sujiwa Sinasinghe, State Minister, Ministry of International Trade of Sri Lanka. Dear Mrs. Indira Malwate, Chairperson and CEO of Sri Lanka Export Development Board. Dearest Arancha, Excellency Dr. Petra Pana, Deputy State Secretary for Foreign Economic Affairs of Hungary. Honorable delegates, global entrepreneurs, distinguished participants, congratulations to ITC and Sri Lanka. Thank you, Arancha, for making it in Sri Lanka. One should be here physically in Colombo heaven of seas, to believe that Sri Lanka is such open economy and emerging country, enjoying a strong vision, processing towards a competitive trading hub. Yes, vision shared with all of us here with the presence of His Excellency, Mr. The President of the Democratic and Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. Then. I congratulate Mrs. Indira Malwati, 
and her team for their devotion to make it a successful 16th edition of the WEDEF in Colombo. Yes, this forum was a platform of exchange between high-level panelists, moderators, and a very active audience. I quote some acts, keywords, and thoughts that impressed me. We missed export focus. FTAs make trade grow with our partners. Disruption. More about attitude. Create business, policy will follow. ITC and Alibaba together for SMEs in the world. Trade is not an objective in itself. It's a mean tool. May I address my sincere thanks to the International Trade Center, the Executive Director, Mrs. Arancha Gonzalez, and her team for their commitment and high competencies to, to run such differentiated international conferences networking public private sectors worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, many entrepreneurs asked me yesterday, where is Morocco located? Let me give you a small brief so I will deliver my main message. The Kingdom of Morocco is an African, Mediterranean, Arab, and Berber country, enjoying 3,500 kilometers of Mediterranean Sea at Atlantic Ocean, a wide open economy since, since 80s with 55 free trade agreements that enable to do today Morocco to export to 180 countries, a very diversified basket of products and services. These products and services are gaining day after day more integrated local value added. More than that, Moroccan champion companies are investing abroad, particularly in Africa. In 2015, we were the first investor in sub-Saharan countries and the second African investor in Africa. And our starting global SMEs, you have noticed yesterday our leading entrepreneur, Mrs. Rizlan Alawi, a woman full of enthusiasm and optimism. Made in Morocco, which belongs to Made in Africa, you discover it in automotive industry, aerospace industry, IT services, pharmaceutical products, agribusiness, fisheries, textile, leather, mining, electronics, electricity, and renewable energies. In fact, we are constructing the biggest plant for solar energy in the world. In few words, Morocco, ancient civilization, a democracy, the most stable country in the region, strategic location, beautiful nature, no oil but renewable energies, diversified economy from agriculture to new technologies, talented and qualified human resources. On top of this, hospitality, tolerance, and open-minded population. So I come to my main message to you today is to let you know that ITC and Maroc Export co-organize in Marrakesh the coming 24th and 25th November, the 11th edition of Trade Promotion Organization's World Conference and Awards 2016. This conference is the main gateway for every TPO to meet up, to connect with regional and worldwide counterpart, to stay updated about the latest world trend trade trends, and to make change to sustain its competitiveness as institution accompanying mainly SMEs to catch international opportunities under the eyes of the government and policy makers. This World Conference is also a chance for the creation and consolidation of mutual collaboration at the international, regional, and bilateral level. The awards awarded, recognize, and encourage excellence in trade support services. In fact, this outstanding honor given to my organizations elected in Dubai 2014 was a true acknowledgement 
of the effort and hard work of each member of the Maroc export team since 37 years. As Moroccans, we consider the TPO Network World Conference and Awards 2016 will honor Africa. A massive participation, nearly 30 African TPOs are expected to attend this important meeting. As Arancha mentioned yesterday, next shift is Asia and Africa. I add to this our strong royal beliefs in an effective support to South-South cooperation. Happy to size this opportunity within such strong presence of Asian participants, your point of view are critical to shape the future of TPOs. The Kingdom of Morocco, ITC and Maroc Export will be extremely honored to re by receiving you coming November in the wonderful city of Marrakesh. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to share with you our experience on a special and supportive collaboration with ITC. A few months ago, Maroc Export has been again under a deep benchmark assessment mission led by the International Trade Center. The results of these evaluations showcased a great improvement of the general score of Maroc Export, which jumped from 37.9 in 2013 to 60.2 in June 2016. This scoring offered a huge and unique confidence to my team, to myself, and to our stakeholders. We, we were also designated as the best TPO in Africa in terms of performance due to three main characteristics a long-term inclusive development vision, and a result-based management strategy, a highly motivated skill team, and a permanent ITC support and assistance. This third important component of our success has not only enabled us to enhance our internal management and work structuring, but also to perform a new portfolio of services delivered to the Moroccan exporters. In addition, my colleagues have usually the opportunity to attend ITC training session, whether in Morocco or in Geneva. Many other vital projects and their processing, such as evaluating our return on investment indicator developed by ITC with the collaboration of the University of Geneva. Furthermore, Maroc Export was elected in March 2016 as co-chair of the International Trade Center Advisory Board on Trade and Investment Support Institution, TISI, a new platform launched by Aramsha for sharing and identifying needs of TPOs in their diversity and complexity for a better service of ITC to our community. The 12 members board will provide guidance to ITC for the continual improvement of its TISI strengthening initiatives and to advocate the relevance of institutional strengthening in their respective regions. It will also effect, uh, be effectively in the design of the TPO Network World Conference agenda to ensure that the debates are focused on the pressing issues facing TPOs. Ladies and gentlemen, as a performing TPO in Africa and with the orientation of Arancha, Maroc Exports initiated the launch in December 2014 in Casablanca of an African network which started with eight members and today we are 13. The members of this network who are the CEOs and general managers of African TPOs meet regularly to discuss and to develop the institutional cooperation between African economies and to foster the worldwide export of African products and services. We contribute to build up together the Made in Africa label. Our goal 
is to position this label within the international value chain. Ladies and gentlemen, during these couple of days and throughout the panelist presentation and participant rich debate, everyone has contemplated a set of excellent innovative initiatives made by their entrepreneurs from all corners of the world. That exchange of ideas and sharing experiences are a foundation tool to build up our common success, which is at the end of the day, developing our country's international trade, as well as fostering our positioning in the global value chain. Dear participants, allow me to reiterate our joint invitation, ITC and Maroc export to TPOs of Asia for the TPO World Conference and Award 2016 in Marrakesh on the 24th and 25th November 2016. S2T. Your next host for the World Export Development Forum 2016, moving from one of the most beautiful countries in the world, or islands in the world, Sri Lanka, to one of the most beautiful countries in the world, Hungary, at this point. That was the prelude to introducing Her Excellency Dr. Petra Pana, Deputy State Secretary for Foreign Economic Affairs of Hungary. Thank you very much, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great pleasure for me to be here with you today. Well, you know, it's, it's always, you know, the first thing to do when I'm, I'm preparing to, to have a speech, to, you know, to touch the microphone, but I won't. So, first of all, let me congratulate on Sri Lanka on the work that you have accomplished as the organizers of the 16th edition of the World Export Development Forum. It proved to be a great 
and extremely useful event that brought together hundreds of business leaders, policymakers, heads of trade and investment support institutions to address international competitiveness to developing countries. Well, next year it is our turn. We feel extremely honored to be the ones hosting the 17th edition of the conference that will take place in Budapest. The event will be co-hosted by ITC and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade of Hungary. In the coming months, we are facing a very exciting per period, not only because of our conference together, but also the Budapest Water Summit, which will be organized for the second time in this year, November, together with the United Nations and the World Water Council. Moreover, Hungary is not only known as the country of water, but the country of sports and the true passion for aquatics. So we are very pleased that Budapest hosts the World Championship of swimming in the next year. The uh, convening of the global trade and development community and business representatives will be also a very interesting and challenging task for us. It is also a big responsibility for us, but I'm pretty sure that my colleagues will do their best. The conference in 2017 will be unique because it is the first occasion when this global conference and business to business matchmaking platform is being organized in Central Europe by one of the Visegrad group, the alliance of four neighboring countries in Central Europe. The event will be dedicated to supporting trade-led development and will also provide an excellent opportunity to help different stakeholders to navigate more effectively on new trade and development landscapes. VDF 2017 will be designed for decision makers focusing mainly on small and medium-sized businesses which are now recognized as a cornerstone for development by the United Nations as well as by the G7 and G20 countries. SMEs contribute 99%, uh, constitute 99% of companies within the EU. They provide two-thirds of private sector jobs and contribute to more than a half of the total added value created by businesses in the EU. We are also very pleased to see that the gender equality becomes a more significant issue for companies so more and more women can take leading role in professional life. There is no better example for this phenomenon than myself and the two members of my delegation who are female and also occupying a leadership position. The shorter the speech, the better it is, so let me, let me just finish by a, my speech by a story which I read some time ago. Uh, two gentlemen, two businessmen were, were talking. I wouldn't want to say which nationality uh, they were from, you know, I want to stay politically correct. Let's say one of them was from the western part of the world and the other was from the eastern part of the world. And uh, this gentleman from the western part of the world asked the other gentleman, what do you think, what's your opinion, what's the, what's the language of, of commerce? He thought he, that the answer would be English. Well, this other gentleman from the eastern part of the world or world told him, you know, the, the language of commerce is, is it depends on, on, my, on my partner. So the language of, of 
Commerce is always the language of your partner. Without um, getting to know each other, without knowing the background of each other, the potentials, the culture, we cannot understand each other, we can have our goods and services, and standing there with our goods and services and, and, having, and not having a partner. So I think that, um, that um, VDF uh, brought a lot to us in this manner, and I'm really grateful uh, to ITC to be here. I'm grateful for Sri Lanka and your support that you just um, are giving to us to get to know your country a bit better, to get closer to each other. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you in my country next, next year. Thank you, and uh, I hope that I will see you in Budapest next year. Thor, you are more than welcome to visit our lovely capital in any time before that. Thank you very much for your kind attention. inviting you to experience the culture, the history, the diversity and the opportunity in Hungary next year at the World Export Development Forum. Thank you very much to Dr. Panya. And I would now like to invite the Executive Director of International Trades of the International Trade Center in Geneva, Madam Arancha Gonzalez. Dear Minister, dear State Minister, dear friends, the bad news is that the conference is coming to an end. But the good news is that you have two new invitations. One for November 24-25th in Marrakesh, World Trade Promotion Organization Conference. The second one for Budapest, World Expert Development Forum 2017. As we come uh, to the end of a very exciting uh, two days program, let me start by thanking very sincerely the people, the government, the business sector in Sri Lanka for the warm and gracious hosting. It's uh, in this, in thanking everybody, I also would like to thank in particular the Export Development Board of Sri Lanka uh, in the person of Indira who has been a great leader, a great friend and a great partner in this endeavor. Thank you also to the panelists, to the thought leaders, and to the entrepreneurs that have provided over uh, this uh, two days exceptional input that has allowed us to understand a little bit better the world of trade, where we are and in which direction we are moving. The forum was about talking trade, talking business, and we did talk business. We I think have a better understanding of the importance of meeting international standards, both private and public, for the competitiveness of businesses. We understand better how using e-commerce and digital solutions can unlock greater opportunities and access new markets around the world. We also understand how investing in authentic tourism uh, can create jobs and investment, good quality jobs and investment. We've also talked about how investing in women and youth to become valuable actors in international trade can contribute to more inclusive growth. And we have, I think, a better understanding of this landscape of mega regional trade agreements and how they can, they should synergize with the multilateral trading system. I think it's also fair that in doing so, the business sector in Sri Lanka, the government of Sri Lanka, have shown an amazing level of collaboration that I think uh, is very interesting model. It's a very interesting model for any country that wants to succeed in international trade. We've also discussed how empowering women and youth, as I said, uh, can help more inclusive growth. Just this morning, we had a wonderful event at the uh, Stock Exchange, Colombo Stock Exchange, and we rang the bell for She Trades, which, as you know, is the initiative we launched last year in support of the United Nations Global Goals 
to empower women economically. On this one, we are extremely proud to have launched She Trades here in Sri Lanka, uh, especially because the EDB already has taken She Trades on board and launched their own program to empower women economically. Also because we hear many more programs are coming on stream in that regard, including uh, by male champions like uh, the um, uh, Excellency State Minister uh, Shujiva, uh, whom I thank for that. It's also part of our engagement uh, in Sri Lanka under an initiative financed by Australia. The International Trade Center is working to empower women economically along the Indian Ocean, in Indonesia, in Sri Lanka, and in Kenya, and we will continue to do so. But WEDEF was also about doing business. I'm pleased to report that around 200 companies participated in B2B sessions from over 30 countries. Over 3,500 business meetings were arranged, and Beyond the headline figures, which we don't have, because a lot of discussions are still continuing, I think the most important takeaway is the kind of relationships that have already started as a result of this B2B. And we have three takeaways from these B2Bs. Takeaway number one, we have seen a number of investors come back to Sri Lanka because they felt that there was a new confidence in the country and in the country's ability to become a good investment destination. These are actors that were here before, that had left the country, that are coming back. Second takeaway from the B2B uh, contacts, that there is a huge potential in South-South trade. A lot of what we have seen is South-South connections, whether it is in the IT sector, with a number of uh, contacts made between the IT sector in India and the IT uh, sector in Sri Lanka to do business outsourcing, uh, whether it is in the hotel uh, and tourism sector between Thailand and Sri Lanka. These are, again, this is the most, one of the most prominent phases, new phases of international trade, South-South trade. Three takeaway from these B2B section, uh, sessions is the importance that we have seen businesses in Sri Lanka attach to standards and meeting quality standards. And we have seen this in particular in the food sector, which was one of the priority sectors that had been selected for the B2B, in which uh, a lot of Contacts have been made in special foods, in organic foods, in certified foods, uh, which again show a commitment from the private sector uh, to uh, meeting quality standards. Also part of this B2B contact uh, was the mini exhibition that uh, took place in the hall. This was meant to be an exhibition, and it ended up being a place to do business, uh, with basically each one of the booths having transacted uh, during the conference here, which shows the interest, again, in uh, business, uh, in uh, the products and the services made in Sri Lanka. I uh, would uh, tell you that, obviously, as I said yesterday, I want to end uh, this short uh, summary that probably doesn't do justice to the richness of the discussion by telling you, Minister, that we are here to stay, that we hope uh, to start in the next uh, few weeks an initiative in which we would be working with you to track promising value chains and to help EDV make sure that we curate entrepreneurs in this promising value chains to connect them to international markets. It's an initiative funded by the European Union that uh, we think is extremely promising in turning your vision, your trade policy vision, into action. Looking ahead, we are extremely uh, excited uh, to host the next edition of WEDEF in Budapest, Hungary. We look forward to starting preparations as soon as possible so that you can have a great uh, experience next year. Let me, in closing, thank 
a few people that I think need to be thanked by name, because otherwise we wouldn't do justice to the amount of hours that they have put in leading entire teams, both in ITC and EDB, to bring this conference to you. Let me start with thanking Indira. Indira has been an amazing partner in this endeavor, and I want to present Indira with a little memento of our collaboration together. I want to tell you, Minister, that you have a great asset in this woman. It's not because she's a woman, but because she is a great asset. Uh, it's been great working with her, and it's been great working with her team uh, under the leadership of uh, Anona, that I think we should, uh, wherever she is, uh, give a big applause to. I also want to thank Faisal. I don't know where he is, uh, where he is hiding, but uh, he also deserves a, a big applause because <laughs> this WEDEF was a joint venture between ITC and Sri Lanka, but in Sri Lanka there was EDB and there was the private sector. And Faisal, as the representative, the visible representative of many private sectors who've contributed to the success of uh, WEDEF, made it extremely easy for us to get here. Let me, in closing, also thank the team in ITC in the person of Sibile, whom you know by now because uh, she's been uh, in touch with all of you. Now, of course, Sibile is the visible face of a huge team. Uh, sorry, not a huge team, but a hugely enthusiastic a small team, because we are not many, but we are extremely committed to make it happen. I just thought I had to recognize her for the uh, huge amount of uh, work that she has put in making this happen. Thank you so much. So, this is the end of uh, my uh, short summary. Thank you to all for being with us and wish you can be with us in Budapest next year. Given the significance of the launch of the She Trades Initiative this morning, what also struck me was that the two live wires behind the collaborating partnerships of the International Trade Center and the EDB are both women. And in thanks for ITC making Colombo, Sri Lanka the venue for the World Export Development Forum 2016, I'd like to ask uh, Ms. Malvatta to present a gift on behalf of the EDB team to Madam Arantxa Gonzalez. And ladies and gentlemen, your participation has been the success of this forum. So thank you to each and every one of you, for those who are not here and for those who are currently here. Thank you very much. And that concludes the closing ceremony of the World Export Development Forum 2016 held in Colombo, Sri Lanka. <laughs>